Accountability is a hot topic these days, but it's also often misunderstood. Leaders sometimes talk about accountability as if it revolves around a specific kind of conversation, this sort of moment of reckoning where they call people to greater investment, greater commitment. If that's the only way you think of accountability, your efforts are really too little and too late because accountability isn't something that you do to the people you lead, it's something they do for themselves. Accountability refers to an individual's inclination to account for their own actions and their, their own behaviors. They demonstrate it when they make meaningful contributions to goals and expectations in process and when they take ownership of the implications after the fact. For that reason, accountability isn't something you can ever give to somebody or call for from someone. It's something someone chooses for themselves. It's an act of volition. That means of their own free will, they take ownership and choose to be accountable. For that reason, accountability is not something that can be commanded as much as it needs to be cultivated. So in your leadership, if you'd like to cultivate greater accountability in your people, there are five things that you should focus on. I call these the foundations of accountability. First, you want to make sure that you give them courage. Because when people are afraid, they dial back their accountability in an effort to protect themselves. So your job as a leader is to actually give them more courage or embolden them, encourage them. Secondly, people need power. They need a sense that they can impact the results and if they lack confidence that they have influence and the ability to change the situation, they won't act as accountable. So your job as a leader is actually to empower them, literally give them more power. Third, they need clear direction. When people don't know for certain what it is they're trying to achieve, what the outcomes look like, it's difficult for them to be accountable for achieving them. So as a leader, you want to make sure that you clarify the goals and the priorities. Fourth, they need an ongoing relationship. Accountability is best fostered in the context of an ongoing and authentic relationship. So if your relationship with the people that you lead is shallow or perfunctory, it's likely that their level of commitment will be too. So you want to create an ongoing relationship or abide with them. And finally, your people need follow-up. Accountability is best fostered when people realize that their actions, their contributions, will be visible and that they'll take the bow or take the heat for what they do. For that reason, your job as a leader to elevate their accountability is actually to provide credit and consequences. So if you're interested in elevating your people's level of commitment, helping them be more accountable and take greater ownership for the things that you're undertaking, focus not so much on a specific conversation or interaction, a sort of moment of reckoning. Instead, focus on providing these five foundations for accountability and you'll see it all rise.